Uh, hi, my name is Peter Francis and I've just completed my undergraduate degree in sport and exercise sciences. When you come in in first year, you establish a broad scientific basis. So you begin with physics, mathematics, but it's not all those types of sciences. There is physiology and anatomy. And as you progress into second year, it becomes more sport and exercise specific. Um, so you do a wide range of modules such as sports injuries and nutrition and metabolism, lots of different modules, but all the time throughout the course, the three major disciplines are the psychology, the biomechanics and the physiology. You progress into third year and you focus on these even more so. And then in the second semester of third year, you go on an eight month work placement. I worked in the National Coaching and Training Centre, which is also located in the University of Limerick. Um, and I was involved in preparing athletes for the Olympic Games in Beijing, um, including the three Irish Olympic boxers. In fourth year then, you undertake a final year project, which spans the entire year, and this um, is in your chosen discipline. So you pick between which one, biomechanics, psychology or physiology. You also do a lot of health-related modules in fourth year, so the benefits for exercise and chronic disease, such as heart disease, diabetes, cancer and, and lots of other diseases. Everybody tends to have one particular section that they like most. So in biomechanics you have the effects of force, the effects of uh, changing technique and so on, things like that. Whereas in psychology you have um, techniques for being calm under pressure, motivation, goal setting. Whereas in my discipline, physiology, it's all about how the body works. And so you're constantly measuring variables in the body such as heart rate, lactates, um, muscle temperature, um, all sorts of, of things like that, hydration status and so on. When, when I graduate, I would like to go on and do a master's in molecular exercise physiology and I would hope that this would lead on to a PhD in the role of exercise in the prevention and treatment of chronic disease.